Hello everyone, I am at the Aachen airport in Germany today. I am a student pilot, my name is Yalun, and today we're going to find out how propellers are made from the beginning to the end. Here we are at Helix Propeller and Richard is going to show us how the propellers are made. Hi! Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, we're coming at Helix. Yeah, I'm Richard. I'm a pilot. I fly since uh, 35 years with uh, aircraft and uh, over this flying project I created own aircraft and this own aircraft required a good propeller to pass noise test. And this is what I created in these old days and now is a big company. Yeah, it is uh, for support flying to make it better, nicer, higher. I started in 1990 and up to now is uh, 34 years. Now it's just my passion. You know, we use from first day carbon fiber as the main and sole material to create propellers. On the other hand, we started directly from beginning with CNC uh, molding, meaning we mill all CAD creations from computer uh, down to the hardware that customer receives. Yeah, from the very old time with pocket calculator creating the curves to be cut on wood, uh, I found out it is not the way for the future. I created software, I wrote myself a program to create uh, propellers uh, based on parameters and um, this knowledge is uh, tuned up until now, every month new features, new propeller. Observing what colleagues are doing. And that's how this, um, this simulation works here. We have an existing uh, 3D geometry mm -hmm. and we want to import it and then see uh, how it's behaving in different um, design points. Mm -hmm. At the end, it's not as fancy mm -hmm. <laughs> as you would think. Two-dimensional graph is, is the thing we want to know and mm -hmm. from which we decide, okay, it's good enough or we have to get better. The design propeller blade yeah. It is uh, milled out by machine from uh, thickness and getting the contour which the final propeller will have. This is a command for the machine. Mm -hmm. Go ahead with this coordinate, mm -hmm. move, uh, zigzag uh -huh. for 20 hours. How long does it take to cut one piece? Mm, one piece is taking six hours okay. in this size. Yeah. Zack. We can proceed the fishing. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it is nicely flat, but it needs to be polished. So we use a different size of sandpaper, rough, getting smaller, 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 up to mm -hmm. 2000. Ja, mein Name ist Thorsten. Mein Aufgabenbereich ist äh, das Laminieren und die Zuschnitte für die Propeller äh, zu bauen, bin ich zuständig. Und was wird dann genau im Zuschnitt und ähm, beim Laminieren gemacht? Äh, also beim Zuschnitt werden die Glasfasermatten oder Gewebe besser gesagt äh, und Kohlegewebe werden äh, nach mit Schablonen äh, zugeschnitten, werden dann auf ein Tablett äh, fertig hingelegt und das ist dann die Vorbereitung für das Laminieren und beim Laminieren werden dann eben halt die äh, Glasfaser- und Kohlefasermatten mit einem Harz in eine Form gearbeitet und das ist immer mein Aufgabenbereich hier bei Helix. And the carbon fiber giving mm -hmm. high strength, high uh, modulus, making the propeller strong to withstand all these huge engine power. Uh, with the heat it will harden up. Let's say unbelievable. How many layers are total? Oh, good question. So, on, yes, like one layer of this, one layer of this, four layers of this, and then at the end, 30 layers of different uh, materials. So, with this button, we open 
Fuck. Open the box. This propeller was uh, produced uh, this morning. Or oh, just I hold this. Yeah. Yeah, it's exit. Now have it. Okay. It's nicely noisy. Perfect. Yeah, I did good. Next step. <laughs> Fix it here and then. We'll try to file down to where the profile starts. Okay. Definitely everything which doesn't look like that, you have to cut it away now. Yeah. Easy. It almost looks like that already. <laughs> when it's looking like that, it's okay. Okay, okay. Just, just a little bit mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Three times. Yeah. Done. All right. Now, balancing is the uh, closest uh, issue to customer flying later on. Unbalanced propeller are not possible to tolerate. We have balance from two sides. The one is from production side to make it efficient and fast. There we do some pre-balancing and after finishing the propeller, it is checked again for balance and probably corrected when the pre-balancing was not through the process continuously good. I'm working here since uh, two and a half years. My name is Daniel and I'm the production manager at Helix. I'm um, yeah, looking here in the production that everything's working. In the um, assembly, it's very important that every um, working step is done properly. We are um, documenting every work step with the paperwork. Every uh, work step is uh, checked by a second um, team member. So we have um, four eyes looking to every step. It's, it's two things I like in the job most. It's um, one thing is the, the technical side to build uh, fiber reinforced plastic propellers. And um, it's very important that we are a good team here at Helix to be able to um, manufacture good uh, product, products. Yeah, this is a uh, test for generating own frequency at propellers. It is uh, locked uh, via a data logger and uh, will display the oscillation of the propeller on an analyzing software to find out which were critical frequencies to be avoided at uh, aircraft level. Yes. And here is indicated at 40 Hz the propeller is oscillating up and down and should be avoided. And new propellers before flying them in the air needed to be tested for strength, for vibrational load, for many, many small things. The main intention on test bench is to bring a propeller from production into the situation that we can fly it. To check whether everything is safe and uh, oscillation and behavior, noise, uh, thrust, everything is okay. We need to run on test bench several hours before we fly it. You know, it is somehow one and a half uh, times the RPM that we use on target aircraft. Helix is a company making propellers for intention. Other companies uh, see propeller producing more as a business earning money. Here at Helix uh, I try to 
get people, myself and also employees, involved in flying. Well, that uh, some propeller manufacturers, and I visit uh, very intensively, found out none of these employees there has a flying license. For me, unbelievable, but they produce since nearly 70 years propellers, none being capable to fly one of these propellers. There I see our philosophy is maybe different. But here we motivate all employees to get flying license by paying half of the license cost and get them up in the air and into connection with our product. This is where it is made for, to be comfortable in long distance and uh, being happy, consuming less fuel than expected. So the, this less consuming is from the curvature, the design of it? Yes, it is, uh, as you see, a very bended propeller. The bending which is existing for other propellers uh, is new in the different direction. Toward the spinning direction, tip goes first. My target is to get the Helix company in position where leading propeller manufacturers are now. The upcoming electrical flying, the eVTOL flying, the newer aircraft with new requirements like noise, uh, low replacing turbines by propellers, being more efficient and ready for the future. The propellers for traditional aircraft, even the leading companies use the wood as material because it is standard and has a lot of experience on their side. But at Helix with carbon fiber, I think we are ready for the next 50 years and work hard on this starting position now. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Yeah.